Hello everybody. So it is Lillian and I am, mm, I don't know if I should do that or not. Let's just turn this way, shall we? I recorded a video and then I realized that I am not all in there. <sighs> anyway, so I went to a, a job interview today and, um, damn, sorry, girl. Angel, what are you doing? Angel, what are you doing? Psst. Hey. Anyway. Sorry, wrong way. Anyway, um, I went to a, a, an interview today for a reception position in, I never know how to hold this camera, in a medical office. And all of you know that I am a uh, medical assistant, nationally certified, graduated with honors, 4.0 GPA from college, blah -dee, blah -dee, blah -dee, blah -dee, blah blah right? And um, this position, actually, um, hopefully I get all my face in there. This position, um, I snail mailed my resume, just took a bunch of pages out of the white pages and said, okay, this is where I'm sending my resume. That's what I did. I have been looking for a job diligently since I graduated college December the 5th of last year of 2009. Every day for probably about, what, going on four months now, right? So, um, it's just not going well. I don't know. I may have oversold myself too, as far as that goes. I think I may have oversold myself. Um, she asked me what my strong points were, and I told her. And, um, but I kept hitting on the medical assistant part of things, right? Because that's what I was trained for. And I don't mind, and I, I mean, I, I sold myself well, but I may have oversold myself. We'll see. I don't mind doing the front office thing, and I did not say like this, oh, I don't mind doing the front office thing, but, you know, I'd really rather be a medical assistant. No, I didn't say that, but I wanted to, right? Because I was trained to do that, and um, I'm not the only one that's having a hard time looking for a job, or finding, not looking for, but finding a job, right? Because pff, most of the class that I graduated with, you know, they're not employed. We're all looking for work. And they keep getting more and more people from not only the school that I graduated from, but there's other colleges around here, too, that, you know, you go to school for the same thing I went to school for. And so, like, there's a lot of people in the, that's medical assistance now, right? And so, it's a huge cluster, you know what, of people applying for the same jobs. Um, there is a job placement or, yeah, job placement center, I guess that's what they call themselves, at the college that I graduated from, um, but taking into consideration that they have to help everybody that goes through their doors, that goes to school there, it's like, how can you help everybody? You say you're there for me, but really, are you really? So, I don't know how they do. Do they rotate everybody's resume? Well, how do they, how do they... I don't know. How do they keep things fair? I guess that's why I want to know. Um, so, when the lady called today, earlier this afternoon, it was around 12, probably, around noon, and she called and asked, you know, hey, we have this reception position, and I know that um, we have got your, we received your resume a while back, and would you be willing to come in this afternoon at 5 and interview for the position? Sure, you know, I'll do that. Not five minutes later, the school calls me that I graduated from and says pretty much the same thing. Hey, I really want to sell your resume, not really like sell, but you know, sell you through your resume kind of thing to this company. It's a temp agency and it's in Franklin, which by the way is one hour from me, from where I live. The one that I interviewed with today that was at five, it's here in the same uh, city that I live in, like not even seven minutes away from where I live. Anyway, so back to the school. Um, so she said it's attempt to hire a position, front office position with the medical office. Um, would you be, you know, willing to 
go on an interview. You'd interview today, and if they like you, you'd come back tomorrow, and you'd interview again. Sure, you know, whatever. So she says, I'm going to go ahead and um, strongly recommend you for the job, and, and let me know. Keep me abreast of the situation, quote-unquote. And so, okay, fine. Um, so I, uh, I go, and for the interview that I sent my resume snail mail like a few months back or a couple months back, whenever it was, and um, and that it went really well. So I mean, I should find out in a couple weeks whether I get the job. We'll see. Hello, baby. Anyway, um, we'll see if I get the job or not. But um, I never heard from the the one that the school sent my resume to. So I can't wait to tell the lady at at the school that I graduated from about that. It's monotonous. I just want to work. You know, at this point, I don't care if it's like sweeping the floors. I don't really care what it is, just as long as I get to do it. I want the experience in a medical office. Oh, here we go. We got a creeper. No. Angel. Really. Get down. Get down. She loves getting in people's face. Um, anyways, I really would like the the, um, the experience in a medical office. So we shall see what happens. I don't know. I had a really good video that I did. It was really good. It was eight minutes long, though. It was a little bit too long. But I I had to delete it and do over again because I didn't get my face. It's like got from like here up and that's just, ugh, I'm probably still not doing it right, but we'll see. Anyway, um, I guess that's it. I don't know. I had a big day of nothing today, which was really good. Yesterday, and don't you dare judge me. Don't you dare judge me. Yes, I'm 41 years old and I love Twilight, so the hell what? Okay? That was my day yesterday. I, I did the Twilight Marathon and um, watched Twilight and the New Moon. It was really good. Can't wait for Eclipse to come out in June. And I don't care. Don't judge me. You have your movies that you like. I have my movies that I like. Okay? I know. I'm not young. Who cares? <sighs> anyway, I'm getting silly. I'm going to get off here. And before I do, this is my baby, Coco. Yeah, she likes to lay against mommy's chi-chi. <laughs> um, I just noticed I'm like eight minutes long again. Oh, God. Bye.